Hello and welcome to Strathglide Country Park Caravan and Motorhome Site. Hello and welcome to Strathclyde Country Park Caravan and Motorhome Club site which is just to the south of Glasgow. We have had the Whale heat air system fitted to this caravan and we've been using it for just over two weeks now. Now at the moment the dual fuel version is only available to manufactured caravans and motorhomes and camper vans from Eldis Compass, Auto Trail and Auto Sleeper. However once Whale have done some more research with an aftermarket fitting like we've got in this caravan Hopefully this dual fuel version will be available to converters later on in 2020, but at the moment it's only the gas version that is available. I'll put links to both Whale and Propex through whom you can buy the heater system in the description below this video. So whether you've got one fitted to your Eldis Compass, Auto Trail or Auto Sleeper leisure vehicle, or whether you're thinking of getting one, stay tuned and we'll go through a little bit about the installation and the control panel, got the control panel there and of course the burning question is how noisy is it? Is it going to wake you up and keep you awake at night? Now I slightly apologise for the sound quality on this, I'm not using a microphone, we're just using the camera's microphone. That is on purpose because I want you to hear all the ambient noise later on when we're running the heat air because at the moment I've let the caravan get quite cold, we're a bit chilly now, it's five degrees outside so I'm looking forward to getting on with it, cutting the waffle and getting on to getting the heater going. First of all talk a little bit about the installation and that is superb, you would have seen from the previous video Video, I'll leave a link in the description below and I'll put a card up here to the installation of the heat air and the building of it you'll see that it goes outside the caravan which is terrific because that means you save space inside the caravan and in a small caravan like this or especially in a camper van that is brilliant now in this caravan you'll see that what's happened is they've put two metal plates under the bed locker here and that's what the heat air is attached to and then you can see through here there's the gas pipe, the mains electric and the 12 volt systems going down there. Now obviously, bit of a disclaimer, the heat air should only be fitted by a competent person and of course it needs to be certificated and signed off before it is safe to use so leave it to the experts. Obviously I can only condone a professional installation of the heat air. But obviously what's brilliant about the way it's installed, even if you have it installed for you, is the fact that you don't lose any space and because this is a small caravan, we've got all our bedding in this locker, don't lose any of that space, that is terrific. So that's a bit about the installation. Now let's talk you through the control panel and hopefully get some heating going in this caravan. So here is the control panel. First off, you can notice the obviously when it's not being touched or whatever, there's no annoying lighting. What you have to do to wake it up is simply pass your hand in front of it. Ta-da! And you'll see that little symbol has come on there. Now it's really simple. You've got gas here and you've got mains here. A minus there, which is to take the temperature down and a plus here which takes the temperature up. So you can't actually put in a figure for the temperature. This here brings this caravan to about uh, 22 degrees. So I usually have it about there, but I'm gonna turn it right up because we wanna hear how noisy it might be. Gas is straightforward. You just press it once and the gas will come on. If it's in blue, that means it's on standby. And when the gas eventually kicks in, that will turn red. Similar with the electricity, you tap it once. Now we've got three little dots above it. That means we're currently on three kilowatts. Now you can see the electricity has already kicked in and is uh, that's now gone orange. If you leave your finger on it, you'll notice it cycles one, two, three, one, two, three. One little dot like that 
you see the gas has come on now. One little dot means that we're on 750 watts of electricity. If we leave it for two dots, that means we're on 1500 watts of electricity. And if we put it on three, that means that we're now on three kilowatts of electricity, which is now means that we don't have any gas burning. Is that going to come on again? Let's see. It's all automatic. Now what, here the gas has now come back on. What you will notice is there's no fan speed at all because the heater will regulate the fan speed to the heat that is required. So that's pretty much how you use the heat controller in the caravan. So I've now got it on both mains and gas for a fast warm up and we'll let it warm up and then see how noisy that will be while I'm still talking. Right, so we've now got the heat air on full blast. It's on both three kilowatts of mains and it's on gas power as well. So that's the maximum you can have. The unit itself is gonna get really hot and that in turn will increase the fan speed to obviously get the heat out as quickly as possible. So that's gonna be the noisiest that we're gonna experience. I don't know if you can hear the, the rumble of the heater. I mean, it's not, it's there, but it's not deafening, it's not intrusive. And the other great thing is I've run the heater mostly on gas. I've not really used the mains very much at all, including at night. And the great thing is the gas ignition is just whisper quiet. You can barely hear the gas ignite. And then the other great thing is, yes, the fan will get noisy as you're heating the caravan up from cold because it's working hard if you've got it on three kilowatts of mains or you've got it on mains and gas or just gas it will work really hard to get the caravan up to heat very quickly that will be fairly noisy and if you're on a quiet site that like we were at Uig Bay caravan site next to Uig Pier on the Isle of Skye. It was a crisp, clear, cold winter's night, no wind, and you could hear the fan outside the caravan. So that's just something to be a little bit mindful of. But when the caravan or the camper van achieves temperature, the fan will quieten down because it doesn't need to work so hard. And if you remember the construction process where there were the solenoids, there were two solenoids on the gas burner. That I said at the time was something I was going to refer back to and the reason is those two solenoids can work individually or together to create a low, a medium or a high heat on gas. Which basically means to maintain a temperature the heat air can burn a low gas flame and keep the fan running at a low speed. Other models of gas heater or even diesel heaters only have one setting on gas and that is hot. So what they do is they cut in and cut out, cut in and cut out, cut in and cut out. This one can keep a low flame going, a low heat output going on gas. So once you've achieved temperature, you don't get disturbed by constant kicking in and out and a loud gas flame going whoosh. You very rarely hear the gas flame at all. I, I can't see, I've really heard it much. So that is absolutely brilliant. And that is what makes, in my opinion, the, the heat air a superior product on the market. So that's answering the question about the noise. Can you hear it? Now let's talk about a little bit about the performance if you are only using mains power and you've got a 16 amp hookup you can set the heat air to three kilowatts of mains and not use the gas at all and even in that case we've got into the caravan sometimes when we've arrived on site it's been very cold put the heat air on three kilowatts and as you're faffing around because we all know setting up a caravan is a bit of a faff putting the legs down getting the water by the time you've done all that, it's already getting warm in here. It will probably take half an hour to an hour to get right up to temperature, but as long as you've got that nice warm air coming through, which you have, 
after about five minutes on three kilowatts, then you're already feeling a lot more comfortable. So that is great. Another great thing is that on this particular caravan, even though it's an old caravan, it's not very well insulated, it's quite small. So when the installer took the decision to put the air inlet for the hot air outlets outside. So the hot air that's coming through the caravan is actually warmed fresh air. That means we're not recycling the same stale air and it's making for a much nicer kind of heat. It's not too dry in the caravan. Now if you've got a larger caravan, you might want to have the air intake inside the caravan, which will obviously be more efficient and far more energy efficient. However, do be aware that in that case you will be reusing and reheating the same air in the caravan and you'll be relying on other means of ventilation for it not to get too dry and too stuffy. I like the fact that in this small caravan we can have the fresh air intake or the air intake for the warm air outlets outside the caravan and what's coming out the warm outlets is warmed fresh air and it never gets stale and it never gets too dry. That is brilliant. So I'd say now the heater is probably working at its full pelt um, and of course now it started raining which just doesn't help either so um, I hope you can hear the heater over the rain I'd say they're actually probably about the same about the same volume is there anything not to like about the heater well obviously it is noisier than say a wet central heating system however you've got to balance that with the fact that it's got a much faster warm-up than a wet central heating system. I'd say there's only one, I've only got one criticism really of this product and that is the electricity settings. You can have this on 750 watts, 1500 watts or 3 kilowatts. Uh, personally I would rather that the three heat settings on mains would be 1000 watts, 2000 watts and 3000 watts. The reason for that is especially if you're using a 10 amp supply, you can't use 3000 watts. So on this heat air system, if you're on a 10 amp power supply on the, ca on the campsite, you can only use 1500 watts of power on mains and then you'd have to top that up with gas. Whereas if it was 2000 watts, which you could still use on a 10 amp supply, you might not have to use any gas. While we've been on the 16 amp supply, it's been no problem because obviously we've just used it on 3000 watts and then you knock it down to 750 watts if you want to use the kettle say or something like that and then knock it back up to 3000 watts. That I would say is about the only criticism I've got of the heat air is, is those electricity settings. Personally, I think it would have been better if it was one kilowatt, two kilowatts and three kilowatts for six amp, 10 amp and 16 amp supplies respectively. That really is the only criticism I've got of the heat air. Unfortunately, Whale have been very shy with the price because obviously, as I say, this particular unit is not yet available to converters. It won't be till later in 2020. So I'm afraid I can't comment on value for money. That will have to be your decision when eventually you decide to, to buy one or if you want to buy a gas one straight away, you can find out from Propex how much that will cost you. Unfortunately, I've not been furnished with that information. So there you have it. I mean, when I started this video, we were pretty cold because I've let the caravan cool down for over an hour with the door open and it's five degrees outside. I've now got really nice toasty warm feet and it well I'm really quite warm I'm just going to knock the gas off here in fact I'll show you the um, so I'll show you the controller here now you can see that the energy symbols are lit up however they are light sensitive so if I were to turn the lights out they will dim right down and then of course if you pass your hand across the front that will light everything up. Oh, I've just inadvertently switched the mains off. So I'll switch that back on. I will switch the gas off. 
the, the electricity has now kicked in we're on three kilowatts and there we go so i hope you found that a little bit useful maybe a bit interesting about the whale heat air product i really really do like it it's made a huge difference to camping in glynis we have managed a sneaky night away in the outer hebrides thanks to the heat air system and i'm going to show you that in the next video so stay tuned for that in the meantime if you did enjoy this video please do give us a thumbs up subscribe if you don't already and it just leaves me to say from Dougal and from me thanks for turning it there are you nice and toasty Dougal hmm yeah yeah are you do you like the heat air are you are you impressed uh. he never smiles